The Tastemaster is proudly brought to you by Stella Artois. Make occasions more special. Start with a Stella. Last week on The Tastemaster, our seven remaining contestants travelled back to the future of sustainable cooking at a vintage wine estate where Chef Chris John Campbell practices the latest farm-to-table dining. His challenge was to make honey the hero of a dazzling seasonal menu. There was talk of two camps, chefs Alex, Toomey and McDonald versus foodies Imtiaz, Masejo, Nicara and Charmaine. But it was every man or woman for themselves. Imtiaz beat Alex to win the Stella Chalice. McDonald, Toomey and Charmaine made the grade. Nicara's taste for chili got the judges hot and bothered. But Masejo's choice of sirloin was too much for them to digest. Her taste master journey was done, overdone. With the next challenge looming, some contestants were clearly more confident than others. But how would it all play out on the plates? Contestants, welcome to Johannesburg. And also welcome to the start of your toughest challenge yet. This week's challenge will be set against the backdrop of another challenge. Have you guessed it? The Nedbank Golf Challenge, where you will be hosting a VIP experience for 10 people at the Stella Artois Cafe. <laughs> yeah. I have never hosted a dinner for more than four people before, and now they want me to host for VIPs. What am I going to do? But as always, you're not alone, because here to help you through this high-pressure occasion is our guest judge for this week. He's the curator of the Stella Artois Cafe, the owner of the local grill Parktown North, and somewhat of a legend here in Joburg. Please help me welcome Steve Muresh. My passion for food really is uh, directed towards my passion for beef. And I think anything beefy or anything uh, related to the bovine is what excites me and stimulates me. And that's why I um, look forward to so much getting up in the morning to the next beefy challenge. My philosophy on food is believing in the fuel to fork principles. And that is knowing the farmer, knowing where our food comes from and keeping it real. Steve, what a legend. He's got a very successful restaurant. He's well known in the industry, but also he's a hardcore guy. He's going to definitely throw some pans at me at some point, but um, I'm going to impress him. I'm pretty sure of that. He's the chef at one of my favorite places to eat at, and I am going to be working with him, or rather, he's going to be judging us. Maybe I shouldn't be as excited. You'll need to create a three-course casual gourmet meal for a premium occasion. Each guest at your table will be given a scorecard, and they will star you on menu development, taste, presentation, hosting, and overall experience. But apart from creating a world-class menu, you'll also be split into teams of two. Emptiers, as last week's taste master, you get to pick your teammate first. Charmaine, as the winner of the first week's challenge, you get second pick, and the remaining contestants will automatically be paired. Emptiers, who have you selected? I chose... Alex. <laughs> and just, he chooses me. What a legend. I'm super stoked. That means I'm a strong guy, I'm a contender for the crown. And, and guess what? It's time to send some people home. So Alex and MTS are in team one. Charmaine, you got second pick. Who have you chosen? Hey. <laughs> I don't even I don't even have words to say. I'm just happy. Thank you, Jermaine. So team two, Charmaine and Chumi. That means Big Mac and Nikara are in team number three. I feel very disappointed. I would have liked to choose who I want to work with. 
I'm a bit concerned that I've been paired with McDonald. I mean, we get on well, but I feel like we're very different in the kitchen in the sense of our energy. He's super, super laid back and I'm more OCD. So I feel like we are gonna clash in the kitchen. Well, I wish you all the best and I leave you in great hands for the masterclass. Not too sure about the other teams, eh? Um, Alex is a bit of a character. He's very controlling, so I don't know if he'll be able to work with other people. McDonald is a very soft-spoken guy, so I don't know if he'll be able to also just come out of his shell and voice his opinions. We've got some serious challenges ahead of us. Sun City, as you know, is incredibly hot this time of year, so you have to bear that in mind with every dish that you're preparing and then it's the, it's the serving. The serving is not just coming from a kitchen plated. It's got to be live cooking. You've got to be able to talk to the spectators, in this case, your, your guests. You've got to be able to talk them through the meal. You've got to make them feel the meal. You've got to give total confidence. You've got to make your guests feel relaxed because the more relaxed you are, the more relaxed they're going to be. And that's what it's about. So it's more than just being a chef, more than just being able to plate, but it's being the ultimate host. I kind of had a feeling that we would be um, cooking for a crowd of people, so I am excited for this challenge. I think we've been waiting to actually interact with other people and showcase our people skills. Contestants, we've got one chance of making this spectacular. The brief we have is casual gourmet. That doesn't mean that you can be casual. We are to impress. Chef, I have a question. How much time do we have for this challenge? The preparation time is sufficient. The serving time is about an hour, then there'll be an hour turnaround time for the next team to then step up and do their magic. This is gonna be quite a monster of a challenge. I mean, 12 guests, three courses in such a short space of time. Do we have an oven on premises? That's a big challenge, you have a braai. It does have a lid, does close, so there is convection heat, and you can do most of your baking in that, but that is certainly one of the curve balls that we'll be throwing at you. Wow, <laughs> thanks, <Chef. laughs> thank you. What I can think about is pressure, pressure, pressure. This challenge is gonna be so fun, and I'm just ready for it. This is gonna be a hard one. I mean, Nakara has been in the bottom two twice. McDonald and I guess myself haven't really shown up. So maybe they have a point to prove. So maybe it actually is destiny that they ended up together. How about Shisanyama? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I think so. The main alliance that we're seeing right now is between Charmaine and Tumi. I think because we need the meat to be pulled apart ready. Maybe oh, we should yeah, start yeah, with yeah. that that's and actually get it in there. We all stayed together recently and I've kind of been watching them and you can see that they're growing closer and closer. So there's definitely something going on there. But I think what I'll do is while you're busy with that, I'll get started with all the little bits like the grating of the carrots so that we at least get that out of the way. Yeah, because there's a lot to do as well. I think we've got a great plan here, man. Um, the only thing that I could be concerned about is if we do pistachios in the start again, we pull it through to the dessert. Alex and I are actually getting along quite well. I always viewed him as somebody that is a strong cook, and I think that for this challenge, he's going to be a great help to me, seeing as he owns all these food trucks. Each person has to win on their own. Uh, pairing ain't gonna save nobody. If you're a bad cook, you're gonna go home. If you're a good cook, you'll go to the next stage. If I have the chance to to win against you, then I have to show that. And that is done with the dish. Next, it's a perfect match for two teams. But for McDonald and Nikara, the toughest part may be each other. Today's planning would lead to tomorrow's success. So we decided to go with a around the world in three courses inspired meal. Every dish is from a specific region that is not obviously South Africa, but we're putting a South African element into every single dish that we're making. When it comes to McDonald and I, I can't really say that he's weak or I'm weaker because we both have different strengths and weaknesses. So we've decided to create dishes that we enjoy eating and just to zhuzh it up a bit, make it a bit more fancy and just make sure it looks good. We're just trying to get our heritages to shine into our dishes. So we're trying to do exactly what we do at home and just simplify it and make it more casual and make it more fine dining as well. I can bring about my personality and my like way of thinking to his way of like cooking. We're bringing it together in a way that is dynamic for both of us. We're making a paella as our main dish, essential to any 
paella is definitely smoked chorizo or like a paella. This is what you get in the south of Spain or south of Portugal. I'm currently busy with the process. Rice is on the go. Peas for our pea foam is basically happening. We've got scallops, we've got fish, we've got prawns, we've got clams all ready to come together in about an hour's time. I'm busy with our dessert. Um, right now I'm just going to get the liquid reducing for our poached pineapples. And then I'm going to move on to prepping for our starters, which is a flatbread, which is, he's going to do his version on there and I'm going to do my version on the other side. If you can smell what's coming out of this pot right now, you'd already taste victory. <laughs> McDonald's is very laid back. A bit too laid back, you know, and Nakara seems like she's always trying to get him to do something and he's just relaxed. Matt, how far are you with the bean salad? Um, the bean salad is all the way done. I have it in the fridge already. Another thing that we have to do is we have to make sure that the grill is hot. Yeah. I went to go check outside. The grill's perfect. It's clean and it's ready to go. Okay, cool. So Chicken, I just need to marinate it and we can pop it on the grill. Awesome, awesome, Calamari awesome. is chopped. Yeah. And now I'm going to make the crispy batter. Okay. And then I can marinate that up and we can deep fry it. McDonald and I haven't really been getting on in the kitchen. He's a bit slow and I think I'm a bit more OCD and I like things to just be fast paced and to just get things done. Even when we just did our shopping just now, like he was all over the place and not focusing at the task at hand. Myself and Nikara had an agreement that I was going to make the mains and do all the hard labor. So she was going to do the sauces and the dessert and help out with the starter. But I feel that she's very inexperienced and she has no clue how to cook. I just want to do things the way that she wants things to be done so we can flow. No, 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 no. Yeah? No, <laughs> so, don't make it seem like yeah, I'm the one that's no. saying that I want to have it a certain way. I'm just the one that's saying like, hey, we got to get done, yeah. let's do this. And like, because if you sit back and, and, and you like chill, nothing's going to get done, you know? Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> this is really real. Yeah. <laughs> We've decided to go with a beef short rib for our main, for the taco. Yeah, and for the marinade, we've used uh, barbecue sauce and some herbs and spices, and we've also included the orange marmalade, just to add a bit of sweetness to it. Mm. If slowly cooked, it actually falls apart really nicely, so the whole idea is for it to be pulled apart and for, it to, for us to put the shredded meat inside the actual taco. You know what it smells like? You know those fireballs when you were a kid? And it's gonna have like a nice reduction, it's gonna be a little bit sweeter later. It's gonna be good. So you can't smell it at home, but this is delicious. It's gonna be delicious. Mm. That's How are you cutting our nice. pineapples? You decided, eh? So I've decided I'm going to do the circles with the all in one, eh? All in one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> How's the paella going? Yeah, it's going well, eh? Everything is seasoned, everything's thawed. We're just waiting for the rice to steam up a so little bit. So we're still bit. keeping the elements separately. And Absolutely, we're bringing it together later bringing on. Bringing it together, together. Beautiful flavor. So, so yeah, happy we're good. Man. Happy days. Butters. Happy days. Good. So I'm making a sugar syrup for our pecan nuts. This is going to be part of our dessert. The pecan nuts basically are going to be caramelized in the sugar just to make it look more presentable. The chemistry has been good. We're vibing really well. I'm doing one element, she's doing another. We're not fighting over each other. We're not, yeah, so we, we're literally getting along. Um, it might have to do with our personalities, but... <laughs> yeah, I think we, we complement well. each other really well. Looking at other people's dishes, I feel like everyone is a bit more prepared than we are. Everyone plated their final dish while we didn't. So I do feel like we have been falling a bit behind compared to the other contestants. I'm feeling quite confident with the direction that we've taken for our dishes because the brief is casual gourmet and we're seeing Alex and them are like pulling out the stops. It looks like a fine dining, intimidating plate with foam. Contestants, how are we doing? Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, Steve just walked in and out of everybody here, he chose the taste master number one yeah. to come test. And I was like, yes, queen. <laughs> There's a paella done our way. Thank you. Looks very exciting. Thank looks, you. Looks great. <laughs> Hopefully it's up to your standard. So.
My concerns up front, you need to know, are that the brief said casual gourmet. With the main, um, I made a pea foam over the paella. And when I see a foam, I immediately think fine dining. So you need to bear that in mind, guys. The flavor profile, I think is spectacular. So he just told me, you lose the foam, absolutely awesome. I saw him double dip, triple dip three triple times dip. on the paella. So he's on our side, it's a great thing. I want my inspiration and the journey to the dish. The inspiration and journey to the dish is golf course, we're thinking fresh, we're thinking summer, so we want something fruity, we want something light, and we want something easy. We want to play on gourmet, but we want to keep it casual as well, chef. Sticking to brief, but delivering on flavor. What I'm feeling here is that this dish has a lot of sweetness coming through. The flavors need to be a little bit more balanced. So I'd like to understand the dish better, bringing in something that's going to break down that sweetness. Otherwise, I think you're on the right track, guys. Well done. Nice Thank job. you, chef. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for the feedback. Good. So you taste them all. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Hold it back for lunch. <laughs> Charmaine, how are we doing? I'm good, Chef. How are you? Fantastic. What's the inspiration for this? So our theme is around the world in three courses. We've got a poke bowl. Thank you. We are putting a South African twist on it. Yes. In place of the sushi rice, we've got mealy rice. And for our mayo, we've got a chakalaka mayo. Lovely. So Chef, as we said, around the world in three courses, yeah. this would be the Asian part of it. It all works fresh. I'm off the golf course, it's hot. And I'm getting this as a starter. I'm really excited about what else is still to be served. So, well done on this. This is a taco, which is usually Mexican, but we've put a bit of South African flavor into it. Sounds good. Will the beef be served hot? Uh, we haven't really thought about that yet. What would you suggest? I'm worried about this dish. Short rib is going to be tricky to get it nice and tender. So my concern is there that you're not going to get it as soft as you like it to be. So Chef Steve comes and tells us that our taco is not up to par. Yeah. And we're basically thinking, wow, we might have to start all over again. It's a tricky dish because it's got to be carefully planned. So I'm concerned about this dish. I think you've got to possibly go back to the drawing board. We don't want to go into this and mess it up, especially after hearing Chef Steve's advice. Right, guys, what have we got? What have we got? So here we have our starter, which we've decided to make a calamari salad. Okay. I, I like the freshness of the lemon. I'm not feeling the dish. I'm not seeing anything that's going to give me flavor. I've got an avo with a bit of pepper. I'm going to taste your calamari. What can we have on that? The pomegranate is fine. Mm. What's the sauce here? So that is a mayo with gherkin and chopped coriander and a drop and of lemon for? juice. It's for the starter. I'm going to do it as a, as a pour Should we try as a Because I want to see. I think it would I want to see what it's going to do. Mm. Mm. OK. That's, you know, when I saw it initially, I thought about freshness, but I was worried about the balance. Yeah. And I think you need to make sure that you have that. Talk to me about the inspiration of your main course. The inspiration for my main course, I was going for a shisanyama type of vibe. So I was trying to incorporate three different types of meats. I also made a three bean salad. Then we have a nice potato salad that Nikara made. Okay, this is not only about the dish, obviously. Yes. It's not only about the recipe. It's about how you're going to serve it. It's about how you're going to make your guests feel. I'm coming off the golf course. With this dish, I'm thinking I'm going to eat with my hands. Yes. Not such a clever plan. Also, if you say you're going cheese and yama, you've got to lift it. Remember, this is gourmet casual. So you've got to lift it up a notch. So if you're doing a potato salad, don't use a mayonnaise. Rather use a vinaigrette. Lovely idea. Just work on your individual dishes. Steve gives us very good pointers on how we can uh, elevate our dishes to the next level. Well done, guys. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Right, guys, we've got some work to be done. You've got your pointers. Sun City is going to be an amazing challenge for us all. Look forward to working with you there and seeing you there. Keep at it and make us all proud. See you there. Cheers. Next, with sunrise on challenge day, come tears and talk of sabotage. It's time for one team to take a gamble or concede the challenge. Make occasions more special. Start with a Stella.
daybreak in the Pilansberg. And while one drama was playing out on the course, another was taking place in the kitchen. We finally arrived at Sun City and it's so surreal for me since I've never actually been here before. I absolutely love it. So we are finally in Sun City. This is my first time here and I'm super, super excited. Um, it's really beautiful and I can't wait to cook. Being here is incredible actually. And yeah, I mean, with the energy, there's people excited and it's like there's something big happening. Yeah. So it's always nice being at Sun City when there's that, that buzz. It's a stunning place, it's, it's a busy place, it's a big place, it's a green place. It is the place to send when somebody we... home. <laughs> Contestants, you did as much as you could back in Joburg, but now it's time to get acquainted with your new home for this week, the Stella Artois Cafe. And here to help me welcome you to your fair way for this challenge are our esteemed judges and someone who has mastered the art of pouring the perfect draft, the Stella Artois Marketing Manager, ST Berger. Hello guys, welcome. Contestants, today we are at the Netbank Golf Challenge, one of South Africa's premier sporting events. Now Stella Artois knows how to make any occasion more special and we are hosting our VIP guests at the Stella Artois Cafe. And like this perfectly poor draft, I'm counting on you Tastemasters to make this occasion one to be remembered. Contestants, you will have noticed that my fellow judge, Chef Greg, is not here today. That's because today's third judge is the public. So all the people who will be tasting your food will also be a judge today. And I'm also joined by Chef Steve as well as Esty. Contestants, today I share my space with you and this means that you've got to really up your game. Make sure that we uh, clean as we go. Look after the space, look after our guests. Good luck. From the noises we were hearing, it seemed some chefs might already be blaming their tools. The limited equipment is really, you know, something that we have to consider. Calamari and yeah. is that homemade mayonnaise? Yeah. Homemade mayo. yeah, so how do you plan to bring back the flavor after the critique you got from Chef Steve? Well, I think the homemade is, there's going to be a lot more flavor into the mayo. The contestants have seen Mac and I fighting a lot, so I think that they're definitely waiting for us to fail. So we do have a lot to prove. We do need to regroup. We need to get back into the, the swing the of things, game, yeah. Yeah, get the game going. We need to be a strong team because that's the only way we can win. I see there's a piece of the ocean for the golf course. Is everything going right with you guys? Absolutely. We've got everything up to track, start a main dessert. Well, I feel like I'm going to take a lot of Alex's direction because he's been doing this for quite a while and it's going to be my first time. And that was one of the reasons why I chose him because I knew that I can learn a lot from him. So I'm ready to do this. Going first is always a great thing because you get to set the tone. You set the bar, but you need to be really confident in what you do. You can absolutely tank or you can succeed. Let me check the grill, make sure everything is warm. I yeah. put the grill on, the grill should be right. I'm just going to put all of the dessert elements one side. We can focus on the mains here. I feel like we gel really well together and going first is going to set the tone for every other contestant following us. So guys, basically we're doing three courses. First course, we're going to only use hands, so no uh, of the cutlery is going to be needed, all right. Alex is taking on the role of head chef. I feel a bit nervous initially. I know that I will start shining once the guests get here, but for now, I'm just listening to chef. Just keep an eye on that, please. Guys, nice the serving quick. is about the experience, not only the food on the plate. Yes, chef. Approach to service is welcoming our guests, beautiful, warm family welcome. Make them feel involved, enjoy the experience that we have prepared for them. Hello. This is Alex. How's it going? Hi, He's my chef. We greet in Portuguese. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to the Stella restaurant. Very warm welcome. Please take a seat. I'm getting them ready. The guests seem like they are very excited for what we have in store for them. And I feel like we have a good crowd. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Chef Alex. This is Chef Intias. And Inches. I am Chef Intias. Happy crowd. Hungry crowd. It's a five-star crowd. So we decided to bring ourselves together in this dish. So the main will be all Alex's personality, the dessert will be all mine. But here you can see you have two. So the one part of it is a simple basil, Italian sort of flavors, and that's obviously Alex. And then I'm actually I'm not Italian, I'm Portuguese, but this is Italian. Everything's going perfect so far. Um, our starters have, have begun, um, uh, already starting on the main slowly. 
but then it just takes over with the plating. There should be a crunch or you should be, listen, every five senses are there. Smell, scent, the other ones I don't remember, I'm under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Whatever it is, dig in and let us know. Please right. enjoy guys, cool. let us know how you're doing. Let's Thanks, get on this man. paella. Awesome. Yeah. Lovely freshness, mix of colours is fantastic. And I think it's really exactly what you want to do when you're coming off the golf course from the from this this heat, this hot sun. Yeah. And you come and sit down, you got a cold beer and you've got that fantastic. Something light. Yeah. I love the fact that he came and he created the cheese mm. in front of you. So we were part of the experience. You felt like you were part of the experience. It's important, eh? yeah. it's important. And I must say, for them to be using the equipment, the limited yeah. equipment yeah. as they are to present a dish like this, that's fantastic. Mm. Everything is going according to plan. However, one little small thing, electricity, boom, 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 goes down. And then we realize that we're just going to tell the guests these things happen. It seems like it. It seems like I'm trying to cook for everyone, but um, someone else is saying no. After a while, it's back on. Alex is back on the paella, and we're good to go. So just a few. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. Just a few strands around it. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I like that. So saffron, you know, it gives color mainly. It comes from a flower. So I'm just really impressed how they've embraced this experience. I agree. I think they, they're really taking on the Stella Cafe, you know, the reason Stella Ca Cafe exists. They've really understood that. It's about hosting, it's about really bringing people in and making them feel at home. Guys, it's not just to look pretty. It is really nice to have some fresh elements yeah. on there. <laughs> Your main course is Here we so go. Good. Main course is served. Please enjoy it. It's done our way, Everybody so enjoy it. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Another really colourful dish, yeah. eh? Such cohesion. I love the theme that's going on here. Yeah, I see a lot of the fresh um, leaves being placed there and then the colours that pop as well. Mm. <laughs> Is that a good sign yeah. the fact that you were silent for so long? No, I think so. They've nailed this. Mm. Yeah. They've nailed this dish. If you like pina colada. <laughs> So it's a play on a pina colada. So think pina colada, think coconut, think pineapple. Just keep that in mind when you're having this dish. Guys, finishing touches are being done to the dessert. We will be sending it out soon. I see empty plates all around, which is absolutely exactly what we wanted, I guess. <laughs> They're sending back empty plates, we're happy. How's it going? Here we Hi go. Guys. So yeah, the dessert is, your is absolutely served. There we go. Thank you. I do hope enjoy. enjoy. Dessert. My favorite part. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the sweet yeah. The first, the first meal is coming off the golf course and getting something fresh on a plate, nice something to start on. And then the main course was the, the prawns were just crisp and the bite were perfect and uh, everything was fine. And then I'm served this. I'm going from comfort to fine dining. Yeah. And in the brief, the brief was casual gourmet. Right, so the pineapple is really delicious. The spices, the flavors, the texture is really wonderful. But I do agree with you, Chef. In terms of cohesion as a menu, um, the first two courses, totally the same page. And this one sort of throws it off a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, guys. We're going to give you pens. I'm going to call them wands because I want you to make magic. It is really such an invigorating feeling to cook and actually see your customers enjoying your food. So star rating, you guys are going to rate us basically on taste, presentation. Alex, we nailed it today, man. We did nail it. We put food in the stomachs, we touch their heart, and hopefully they tick the box. All they the boxes. All the boxes. <laughs> Absolutely. No, it's good. Well done. Right. Well done, guys. Thank you. Eh? The guys, they were very good. The way they presented themselves to us, it was very outstanding. Wow. Today, the guys were fabulous. I would say to them, hashtag delicious. Everything was so nice. Everything was so perfect. That was amazing. That dude. was so <laughs> epic. So I was initially nervous because I've never served in the kitchen before. But Alex helped me out so <laughs> dude. I I'm actually, so I'm good. actually very, very proud of you, man. Thank you, you, Alex. Did well. Thank you so much. And I feel like we have seen the bar quite high. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure they can't jump that high though. Next, can Charmaine and Tumi top the boys and Nikara and McDonald hit on a winning formula before reality bites? Challenge Day brought a surprise for Charmaine and Tumi. Tumi? We literally like, this is not cooked. No man, this is it. It was on when I left here. So we arrive at the kitchen and our meat is still raw. Left at 9 o'clock yeah. with the intent of cooking this for a whole 12 hours from yeah. 9 until 9. 
we come back, nothing's happened. But when we left here, it was on. It feels like we've seen all the other teams fall apart in the planning stages, and now we're falling apart. Right, at the crucial moments, yeah. which is like heartbreaking. Like It is. I like, actually shed a tear. <laughs> Let's not talk about tears, please. It seems like we might have to fry the meat, but I don't know if that will be enough time for it to cook through. So we're just trying to figure out ways to just make it work. I think I'm a creative, so I usually think out of the box. We're gonna ace it, we'll be fine. Guys, how are we doing? How are we doing? Guests are all here, waiting upstairs. We're almost ready, Chef. You're almost ready? Almost ready. Almost almost. Ready. One minute, two minutes. Uh, yeah, bring them on. Bring, bring them, them on. on. Yeah. Okay, well, what we're going to do differently is, yeah. I'd like one of you to go upstairs to your guests, stay on the roof, bring them down, and back if you're welcome. Okay. Let's do that. One of you go. What's Decide up? who's going to do it, and you're going to stand your prep here. Okay, good. Awesome, chef. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. Let's do this. Thank you, Chef. Our approach is to be, firstly, as professional as possible. Consider the brief, which is being hospitable, interact, and also just give the best version of ourselves. Yes. And mm -hmm. serve good food as well. Yes. And smile. And smile. Thank you for choosing Stella Cafe as your foodie destination. My name is Charmaine, and this is my partner, Chef mm -hmm. Dumi. I've hosted events before, you've done it as well, so it's not too crazy however knowing that we are now judged by people and that we don't. their opinion actually determines whether we stay in this competition or not now that that's just a curveball we're gonna start off at the first tea which is our which is a a par four par four please excuse me i'm still getting into this lingo yeah <laughs> and our par four which is our first dish for today is going to be our poke bowl the south african twist on this dish is that instead of serving with sushi rice we're actually serving this dish with mealy rice. And then our mayo, instead of having it as the typical Japanese mayo, we're actually having it with a chakalaka mayo. Do you know how fresh it is? And I think it's really clever to go a trendy dish like pokey and South Africanize it. I think that's a really cool idea. This chakalaka mayo is an absolute winner. It's Excellent delicious. Point. So how were they as a team? Because this has come out great. Yeah, the way they started off this morning, there were tears. Yeah. They were like super, super emotional. I saw you giving them a hug and uh, you know, encouraging them. And they've just pulled it off. So it's quite clear. I'm looking forward to the main course, obviously, because that's what the anxiety was about. So we're moving over to our second course, which we call the birdie. The birdie is our beef taco. This is the only dish where you do not use cutlery. You can if you'd like to, but I promise you the experience will not be the same. So you've got the option of doing a tuck and roll or you can just fold the bottom and then just put it all in your mouth. It's completely up to you. <laughs> ST, what do you think of the presentation so far? Uh, I really love the menu. I think the golf theme really looking good and I love the fact that they've thought about that. I like how they've asked people to construct their taco just to keep it interesting and to keep it interactive. I think maybe just they've lost a little bit of focus on keeping the crowd, you know, and a bit of drama and theatre in the kitchen. But other than that, I think they've done very well. That beef with the sauce is Moorish. It's really tender, thinly sliced, so quite easy to eat. The combination with the guac and the crunchy cabbage. Yes, <laughs> a thumbs up for me. They've delivered a dish that makes our guests happy, and that's all I'm worried about. And actually, you know, being the taste master on Afternoon Express means that it's a high pitch situation. It's live television. Exactly. You have to, you know, come back quickly and bounce back quickly. Yeah. And for them to be able to do that after all the drama that you said they experienced this morning, well done. Judging by the people in the room, they seem to be enjoying everything because not only are they interacting with us, but with each other. Like you're seeing people make friends and that's what foodie experiences are all about. So my lovely teammates and I, Charmaine, are very happy that you joined us today. We hope you had a lovely day and we hope that we were the hole in one for your day. And uh, please do enjoy, this is our deconstructed cheesecake with a cook sister base with a cook sister base and some seasonal berries yes. and we finished it off with a citrus coolie just to tie everything in together the smiles empty plates i mean someone wants us to cater at their wedding hello 
It was really great, the food was nice, it was a really great experience. So guys, I think they nailed it. They nailed the brief. I agree. Totally. Uh, me too, I think that this was a perfect ending. So, I'm seeing clean plates, what does that mean? <laughs> Did you guys really enjoy it? <laughs> Fantastic. It's, it's now in your hands. The winning team needs to be judged, basically. <laughs> Judge the winning team. Okay. <laughs>I couldn't have chosen a better partner. Well, I didn't choose you. Well, I chose the universe you. chose me for you. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> well done. Well I think done. we did so well. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, we, we did well. <laughs> like, we're the bosses. We got this. We, we're winning this challenge. We're winning this challenge. If you didn't hear it, we, we're winning. <laughs>
after three epic rounds, it's down to the wire. Who's your favorite team? Charmaine and Tumi, Alex and Imtiaz, or Nikara and McDonald? Let us know on hashtag the Tastemaster SA. Make occasions more special. Start with a Stella. Elimination Day brought new hope for those who'd pulled success from the fire and beaten the odds stacked against them. Judges, it's time to deliberate and make some really tough choices. Can we start with how the contestants worked as a team? The back of house, I think, is uh, where we should start. As individuals, they work well. As teams, they work well. They kept the area tidy. In that really confined space, that's where normally it gets out of control. It was fantastic. That's wonderful to hear because we didn't see the back of house. We just saw in front and they were great in front. And, you know, being part of a live television crew and a show, um, it's great that you're great in front of camera, but it's very important to be able to work in a team behind the scenes. So I'm glad that you, you were impressed with that, Chef. Yeah, I think from my point of view, it's all about hosting. That was the brief. And I wanted the guests to feel comfortable. I wanted them to feel entertained. And a taste master needs to know how to hold the crowd, how to make good food, and how to make sure everyone's comfortable. I think overall, they did that. And how about the taste? How about the food and the menus? Mm. Now, if we look at the, at the scorecards and then the comments that are also posted, which is incredible, it certainly has raised the bar for us at Stella Cafe. And that from guys that haven't worked in this environment, just phenomenal. I think the menu compositions were really great. I love the thought that they put into it. I love that they put um, both of their flavors and tastes and styles into one menu. I think that that's a great way um, to display your own personality, but through teamwork. I agree. I love that all the menus were different. Uh, they really thought through every dish. Um, and I loved how they incorporated some of their own heritage. And in some ways, they just chose something very interesting. So I love that. The judges, it's now time to find out who got a hole in one and whose game is over. Mm. Let's get them in. How are you doing? Hi. It's eliminations, and I'm literally a bit scared because I'm not so feeling so confident about this challenge. From this competition, I've learned that you need to expect the unexpected, so I don't really know how things are going to turn out today. Contestants, welcome to the Tastemaster elimination. I really enjoyed having you in the stellar space and you know the brief to you was to make sure that our guests were hosted beautifully and you really did that well. What I saw from you was beautiful teamwork, you know, holding the fort in the kitchen, a little bit of drama and really entertaining the guests as they watched you cook. And all I can say is I'm sad to make a decision this week. Contestants, friends, you guys did incredibly well. Incredibly well on every level. You chose to listen. You worked well as a team among yourselves. You just made me so proud. I've got goosebumps. Just love you all. And you're all going to go far. No matter what the outcome is, there has to be an outcome, as you know. But you're all going to excel in this in this business. Well, you can see how emotional Chef's getting and all the wonderful compliments from Esty. You guys can truly be proud of yourselves. I am so, so very proud of you. The patrons were all very complimentary throughout the experience. Um, and all the scores combined, that's with the, the patrons votes as well as ours. There was only two star difference overall between the two top teams. So well done. Contestants, in this challenge, you had your first taste of hosting guests and also presenting live while cooking. And you did it so well that out of a possible 250 stars, the winning team scored a whopping 244 stars. You're all on your way to becoming great tastemasters. But unfortunately, there can only be one. Waiters, please bring in the winning dish. The suspense is killing me. I just need to know what is under that clash. Um, I need to know whether we're safe or whether we're going home. As the waiters bring out the winning dish, I think to myself, I absolutely got this. However, as per the past previous two times, I also believed that and it didn't happen. So, I don't know. <laughs> number two does look good on you, Alex, but you're with me now. So definitely <laughs> number one state is coming your way. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> Once the dish has been revealed, we will know who has won. But if your plate is empty, it means your Tastemaster journey ends here. I'm sure you saw how the judges got so emotional, but that is because 
there are only three teams and the losing team, both contestants, will have to go. Waiters, please reveal the winning dish. We won! Well done. Well done. Alex, welcome to... The, the winning top. circle. Absolutely. My heart sinks. This is not the outcome that I expected. Um, all I can focus on is, is the, the empty plate in front of me. I don't even think about who won the challenge. All I'm thinking about is this is the end of our journey. Emotions flying high. Nikara, Big Mac, unfortunately your taste master journey ends here. What are you taking away from this competition, Nikara? I think the main thing that I'm taking away is growth. I've grown a lot as a person and as a cook. This has been an amazing experience. What I can say is uh, reach for the stars and just never give up. Judges, do you have any comments for our team? I'm just really, really sad to see you both go. Um, I've watched you grow now during this um, competition. Uh, you're both wonderful cooks, you're both wonderful people. And just to you know, reiterate what Chef said, don't ever stop. You guys are taste masters. Um, my restaurant would welcome you any, any day of the week. Thank you. Nicora and McDonald, I really loved watching you guys cook. Um, I loved your meals yesterday. I loved the way you, you blended your heritage. And um, I can see that you guys have put your heart and soul into this. So it is sad to say goodbye. And thank you for being part of today's journey. Nicara, McDonald, it's been great having you here. You are both incredible chefs. May I please have your apron? To all my fellow contestants, you guys are incredible. Um, I wish you well for this journey. I know no matter what the outcome is and no matter who wins, you're all gonna be successful in whatever avenue that you, you go ahead with in life. MTS Alex, top two again. Congratulations on winning this week's challenge. <laughs> MTS, this is your second challenge. And Alex, you finally get one. <laughs> the time like Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Judges. Well done, guys. You managed to turn a special occasion into a VIP experience. Thank you so much. And ladies, well done to you too. I think we should make this a permanent fixture. You guys were fantastic. Great to work with. Wonderful energy. You engaged with your guests from the moment they arrived. Um, on every level, fantastic to score that many stars. You got to be proud of yourselves. And thank you so much for putting me under so much pressure. <laughs> well done, guys. I saw you work your magic, there was a bit of entertainment and you held the crowd. I could see that everyone was just really watching you guys, putting the plate down. Everyone had been on the journey and they really enjoyed the meal and that's what really swayed my boat. I think everyone agreed that they'd come back to your restaurant and that's what's key in this day and age. So, guys, you did it. It felt brilliant knowing who's got your back, but becoming the taste master will mean being a team of one. Fancy a trip or two to Belgium with Stella Artois. Show us how you are watching the Taste Master by uploading a picture or video to Twitter using the hashtag Start with a Stella. You could be gifted a trip or two to Belgium. Entries close at midnight on Tuesday, the 17th of December this year. For further T's and C's, visit thetastemaster.co.za. Another feel-good production.